children bear the image of their parents both physically and psychologically and spiritually, so in all those ways they are representative, if you want, of their parents. So in a similar way, all of us children of God represent God. We bear uh, the likeness of God. So every human being, all have a purpose, a mission, they're part of God's plan. At the root of our dignity is this right to life. And the right to life extends from conception to natural death. It applies to us across the whole of our existence. And so to have an ethic of life means at all times the church is concerned for how people are doing at any given moment. When we see people trying to justify treating other people in a certain way because they're so small, they're not born yet, they're not self-aware yet, their skin is another color, they're so disabled. Whenever we see people being spoken of more like objects, then we know that the principle of the radical equality of every human person is being violated. The human race is a family. We're all children of God. And so we should learn that lesson from individual families, that there's no one who's expendable. Everyone is worthy of reverence and protection, but especially the weakest among us. Our dignity also cries out for the freedom and the opportunity to become everything God intended us to be. So part of life, part of fulfilling life, part of serving life, is actually creating the opportunities for everyone to have the fullness of life. I think Catholic social teaching urges us to operate at both the kind of individual and the global levels both the individual who's in immediate need, so think of the corporal and spiritual works of mercy. At the same time, we have to be attentive to the more global, the more societal violations of justice. There is systemic violence, there is systemic injustice. That has to be addressed too. So it's not just the lawmakers, but national institutions, corporations, have this obligation to affirm the principle of the right to life and dignity, and then to decide how their institution can go about realizing it. On a personal level, it requires figuring out how you, and often this is the most effective level, at the one-on-one -on -one level, at the small group level, can make a difference and in um, realizing those parts of human dignity that are in short supply and that you have the wherewithal to do something about. All of the church's social teaching, its understanding of family, of community life, of justice, of good governance, all of this comes back to the question, what will fulfill life for every human being as God has intended it?